All right, hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about and do some problems involved in absolute value functions. Okay, let's take problem number one. So we have four questions, four different absolute value functions, and we're going to figure out a couple things. One, we're going to identify if the graph opens up or down. Two, we're going to identify the vertex of the graph, and then C, three, we're going to decide whether the graph is wider, narrower, or the same width as the parent function. So if you recall from the lesson, we have the form y is equal to a times x minus h <coughs> plus k, where h and k are our vertex. a describes the orientation of the graph, uh, and then h and k are just the shift of the graph itself. Okay, so the first is if the graph opens up or down. So we need to take a look at the a value. If the a value is positive, then the uh, graph opens up, so it's a regular V-shape. If it's negative, then the graph opens down, so it's an upside down V. So in this case, does the graph open up or down? Well, the A value is negative, so the graph opens down. B, let's find the vertex of the graph. The vertex of the graph corresponds to the H and K values. Well, in this case, this is the same as Y is equal to negative two times X minus zero plus zero. We don't state the zeros, we're just assuming that that's the case because we have nothing stated there. <coughs> so our vertex is going to be zero, zero. Now is the graph wider, narrower, or the same as the parent function? Okay, well if the absolute value of A is less than one, then we know it's wider. If the absolute value of A is greater than one, we know that the graph is gonna be narrower if we plug in negative 2 at the absolute value of a, or as the absolute value of a, we take the absolute value of 2, we see that that, is, that value becomes greater than negative 1, so our graph is going to be negative. So we have a graph that opens down, that has a vertex of 0, 0, and that's narrower than the parent function, uh, which is y is equal to the absolute value of x. The parent function looks something like this. We're going to have a graph that's upside down, and that's a little bit more narrow, but still has the vertex at the origin. Okay, next question, same problem. Does the graph open up or down? Well, there's nothing stated in front of the absolute value sign, so we can assume it's one. So the graph, <coughs> and it's gonna be positive, so the graph opens up, right? The vertex of the graph, we take our h and k value. Our h value is gonna be negative one, so remember it's the opposite sign here. Our k value is four. So our vertex is 1, 4. Is the graph wider, narrower, or the same width as the parent function? Well, again, the A value is 1, so it's going to be the same as the parent function. OK, third question, same process. Does the graph open up or down? I have a negative uh, coefficient, so the graph is going to open down. The vertex of the graph, I have my H and K values. H value is going to be negative 5, K value is negative 4, so there's my vertex. Is the graph wider, narrower, or the same width as the parent function? Well, 8, absolute value of 8 <coughs> is 8. That value is greater than 1, that means the graph is going to be narrower. Okay, last problem. <coughs> Identify whether the graph opens up or down. I have a positive A value, so the graph opens up. Uh, I'm going to find the vertex of the graph. I have my h and k values 2 and 2. Remember changing the sign of this h value. Is the graph wider, narrower, or the same width? Well, the absolute value of the a value is going to be 1 half, which is less than 1. If it's less than 1, it means the graph is wider. So I write wider here. And those are my answers.